DeAndre. Uh, watching film and kind of going over things, where was DeAndre hurting, hurting you guys most? <clears throat> and, and kind of what can you do to, to make life a little harder on him? Uh, just keep him off the offensive glass. Don't let him get into a rhythm earlier in the game. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job on him in the start of the game. Uh, just, you know, throughout the rest of the game. He got a good rhythm going. Yeah, to touch on your first question, to get AD going, I think we need to start him off earlier in the game. Uh, he has a smaller matchup on him in Jay Crowder, so I think we need to attack that and exploit that uh, that matchup early. And I think he'll get into a rhythm right after that. <clears throat> and I think for me personally, getting uh, me personally being here, uh, I'm learning a lot uh, with the minutes I'm playing. I mean, obviously, I'm doing what I can uh, with the. You know, with the amount of time I'm on the floor, just trying to do the best I can to help the team as much as I can. Uh, I mean, that's really all I can tell you. I think I'm getting acclimated just fine. It's just uh, doing what I can when I'm out there. Andre, I recognize the result would have been the same as your playoff game in Detroit. Uh, I wanted to know anything about yesterday's playoff experience. Just, I don't know, being part of this group with this expectation is the way maybe the opposing fans view your team versus how the opposing fans would have viewed that, that Pistons team. Um, you can compare this playoff experience so far versus your time with the Pistons. I mean, I think the playoffs are the playoffs, regardless of what your seeding is or whatever your year was like. I mean, it still was a hell of a playoff experience. The atmosphere was crazy. I mean, it felt like full capacity in that Phoenix arena. So it's good to see people back in the stands again, especially for our first playoff game together. And maybe it goes without saying, but <clears throat> like, how much are you uh, lusting for that that first playoff win? You know, it, it it'll come. You know, it's nothing that I can really do to make it happen. It's just we just got to go out there, play to the best of our ability, and win the game. expectations for other groups, including groups where you're playing center on the floor. Do you feel any of that? <clears throat> I think with the lineup, with the big lineup, I think it's just we didn't have enough time to work on it. So it's something that we're kind of just throwing out there with little time and little experience. And I think we're doing a good job of figuring it out on the fly. Uh, despite us being in the playoffs right now, I mean, obviously lineup changes are going to are gonna happen. We're going to do whatever it takes to win. So it's just uh, feeling it out and trying to do what it do what's best for the team. Hey, Andre, uh, I'm curious, where, where did you feel like your guys' defensive breakdowns on Devin Booker were? Was it in the pick and roll? Was it rotations? Like, where did you kind of see him getting free or, or hitting some of the tough shots that he made? I think it's just Devin Booker being Devin Booker. The shots he were taking were contested. I think we defended him well. Uh, I think early in the game we allowed him to get a lot of easy shots, which, which is what got him into that rhythm to where he could hit those difficult shots down the stretch of the game. Uh, I think we just need to do a better job and be more physical on him. 